Hey guys, what's up? It is Sarpnik here. Welcome back to... Yes, you can see this turtle is literally dying. I sadly had to kill them both, but did that guy drop something? Or, no. He just dropped this. Seagrass. You know, this actually might be useful later on, so I'll hold on to it. Welcome back to the episode of Survival. It's episode 3. It's been a while. I've been really busy with other stuff. That's why I haven't really worked on the series. But now I'm back. So, you're perhaps wondering... What's going on? If you don't remember, we were looking for treasure, and I finally found it after a while. So, it's right here. I haven't opened it yet, but there we go. Interesting. Alright, we'll grab what we can in just a second. Oh, God. There's quite a lot of y'alls. As you can see, my, uh, my drown trap has actually been working effectively. But even then, there's so much of these guys. Way too much of these guys, in fact. Bad choice, pal. Get out of this land. You guys don't walk on land. But yeah, guys, we are in 1.14 now, so we can actually resume the series in 1.14, which will make it a lot more interesting. And yes, don't worry, episodes will be coming back weekly. I'm finally back into this, so let's get started. Anyhow, today what we're going to do is just return to base after getting this treasure. You. Oh no, I did you guys see that baby zombie? That guy was on a crash course over here. Since this is cooked, I'll also grab it. I'm actually gonna use my torches on this area. And wait, where'd the baby zombie? Ha, ah, you're underwater. I really hope you drown, because then you'll probably become a baby drown, and that's probably not a good thing. Alright. We're also kinda running out of steak, so it's a good thing that we've got the salmon now. But yeah, we should actually probably sleep. That sounds like a smart idea. It's the morning time. Well, I think I actually just got rid of all the water down here. Finally. Look at this, like, cave we've created, guys. It's just an underground, like, sand pit, basically. I'll collect all the sand, because why not? Here we go. We're out of here. Let's grab the rest of these boys. And boom. We got it. But I heard it's actually a good idea to break it before you leave. So, what do you think I'm going to do? Yep, I'm drowning. There we go. Phew. Okay, that was very risky. But, just like Frisky, we're ready to go. Boom, we're off. We're heading back. We're just gonna take a tiny break from adventuring on major trips. We did get some good resources from this one, so I am not disappointed at all with my findings. It's around time I returned home anyways, and began the work on our beautiful city. The next few episodes might be about me mining, and also I might be doing some live streams. And here we are, ignore the chunk glitches. This forest continent, this looks like a nice forest. Here we are, in the land. I can hear a few sheep grazing around. This looks like a nice area, but let's see if we could find ooh, more pumpkins. I only need one, so y'all are good, I guess. And actually, there's more peonies, too. Cows! And more sheep. Even more sheep. Yeah, right now we're just gonna head directly that way. I can imagine myself building like a little cottage town here. I have an idea for a style I might do for this one, which I do for a lot of my builds in creative, but we'll see about it, because sometimes it doesn't really work out, it doesn't look the best, but I might just watch a few YouTubers, but I know what I'm doing for the main village, so that's really all that matters right now. Now we just gotta find the main village. Wolves. You know what? I already have one of y'alls, but I could use another one of you guys. I don't care if this guy doesn't accept any of them. Yeah, that's okay. We got one of you. Bloop. New friend of mine has been made. So, yeah, I am kind of in the middle of trying to discover where we are. We're actually still along the coast, believe it or not. I don't think we arrived this far south, but we might have. Who knows? Maybe this could be a huge island. We got the wolf in the back. I got the horses in the back. Yeah, I had to, I had to make that line. I'm sorry. A lot of tropical fish, because this is actually apparently a tropical biome. It looks like, yeah, those are the mountains from earlier. Yep, this is it. We've hit the jackpot. This is the coast coastline near my base and I just recognized the village again excuse chunk errors you can tell because it's this is gonna be the last new or old village specific I'm sorry that I had hit you by the way for that I should have used my sword you know what come here there you go that should suit you well this is the last type of old minecraft village we're ever gonna see in this world two of these now exist so yeah let's raid the blacksmith I guess so I will occupy a village actually I will actually surround it with a wall I might do this one just because. That's really strange about it. I don't think I've been here before. I've loaded this place, but I haven't been here before. Whatever. Let's just take your library books and get going. And we're good. Just like that. Alright, hey guys. As you can see, they do function like new villagers now. Although they are old, like you don't have the skins. I believe that our base is somewhere that way. What else do we have here? Just normal old village stuff. This village specifically, I'm actually going to fortify. When it comes to need that, I mean, you're like, it doesn't need to be fortified. Oh, okay, that's a problem. Looks like we're gonna have to parkour our way up here. Oh yeah, another one of these to destroy, yay. And just like that, we got it. GG. Hey, uh, is that my dog? Yes, he is, in fact. Or she's, I don't know your gender, okay? Listen, 
I'm going to quickly take some crops from these guys, if you don't mind. What is... <laughs> you serious, bro? None of them want to work with me, though. Yeah, there's a lot of crops that they have. I'm only going to take a few more under my belt. Like, I'm not going to take any uh, carrots or anything yet. But yeah, this is totally a really nice place. In fact, this forest right here, I actually really like this forest right here. I'm going to remember this. This is right north of this village over here. So... When it comes to the episode where I'm going to be fortifying this, maybe even a couple streams too, I'll check that out. Check that area out too. Might create a little medieval village there. I'm not going to build kingdoms everywhere, but I definitely will build something in a lot of places. Let's get up here. All right, that's enough wheat for us. We have 46. That's quite a bit. All right, Wolf, let's get going. Yo, I'm going to check this one last time. Like, why is it empty? Whatever. So I believe the base was somewhere around here. I know this was at the far extent of my render distance from the mountain, but it still was at my render distance from the mountain. So that's a good sign. It's kind of cool there's like a bunch of birch trees in the middle of this place. Oh yeah, we got a nice little forest here. Another nice little forest here. In fact, we'll probably have like outskirts of the kingdom. Like there might be a woodcutter living out here or something. I don't know. Again, glitch and junk, people. Yeah, we're definitely home. I can recognize the map one I just saw a second ago before it flashed away. Yeah, here we go. That looks familiar. We're just gonna head back to our little encampment. I'm pretty sure I've walked these areas already. Look at this cool little I'm under the hill thing. And just like that. And some lava over there. Ooh, I could get an advancement for this, actually. Well, first, what I'm going to do is put you back, pick you up, put you back, and then mix the two of you. There we go. Dog, careful. This is really hot lava. It can destroy you for life and stuff. Well, there you go. Tackled it like a man. Yeah, this definitely burned down the forest. It's definitely been loaded before. But now we just got to find our base. Is that it over there? That's definitely it over there where the light is. Woohoo! Well, my only home I've ever known. Yay, we're back after a long journey. I know, that's from a trailer I made. Yes, here we are. Yellow collar and now pink collar. You guys are going to be friends. And very shortly, you two have a baby. There you go. That, that fills your quest. And we can actually sleep here. Resetting our spawn here, which, I mean, our spawn wasn't set that far from here anyway. So I've made my final decision on what this area is going to be. It's going to be a fort on the outskirts of the city. I'm actually going to build this before I even build the city. And now, with this wheat, we can actually attract cows and build the cow farm, which I've been wanting to do for a while. So, you guys, as you know, nothing really interesting is going on right now. I'm just going to, like, store the stuff away, work on setting up these farms. Yeah, that's a lot more iron than I had before. This is just a documentation of the area I went to on map, so I'm going to put this away too. Yeah, I also noticed that's there. I'll cook up some more food with this raw pork chop and this chicken. Put the rest of y'all away. Well, I might need the spruce. I might need the spruce logs, but the chest won't open. You know, we're not surprised. This is the new update. But yeah, we're just going to get to work on this. I'll actually take all the torches off here too. Set everything up. Cut down some more trees. And I'll be back with you guys once I actually have a perimeter of area. I do want to build this wall across. All right, guys. I am back. I'm currently in the mines. I actually went back down in the same mine, except I kept digging. I went to like some caves that I had like lightly touch you know i just got some uh, redstone and stuff from like the lava patches that were down here i've just been like covering them up and exploring i went this way i had a near death experience with the creeper thankfully this isn't hardcore mode i followed this way you know i wasn't going to grab the gold yet or anything i just want to like explore these caves or at least just cover them make sure they're safe from mobs and then i discovered this so here's how we're going to do this we need to be aware that they also spawn on the outskirts of it let's raid these chests horse armor and stuff as you can see my inventory is very full i didn't empty some of it i thought i had but i apparently left some blocks behind which is fine and then we'll have space we did get a music this finally finally guys yeah i did destroy some trees by the way if any of you were wondering but do i have no space at all for any of this like seriously what what, what, what? whatever i'll just grab the golden apple for now i might come back for it later this wasn't expected to be a very major mining trip but yeah there's just a lot of cool caves around here there's a hell of a lot of caves around here in fact this is the hot stuff so yeah this is kind of my tactic for now i don't do any other tactics like most people do I just kind of like explore caves, light them up, get them safe from mobs, and then one day when I need ores, I might just come back down here and, you know, mine them all. Yeah, I actually have mined quite a bit of iron, so might grab a few right now, and I guess I'll be back with you guys once I have gotten some more ores and some more cobble. It might be a while. I, I, I just knew I would find diamonds on this trip. So yeah, I mean, this is not even that far from where I was before. Hold on a second. I need to actually throw some trash away finally. Sorry, stone hoe. Look, so basically, this right over here, I basically just entered the cave through about around here. These were like the lava patches I discovered and stuff. But yeah, I was just trying to empty those torches, by the way. Down this way, I decided, I was about to leave actually. I'm like, hey, I might as well just go this way for a little bit. Yeah, I looked this way and I headed through here and I noticed the diamond texture. And I was like, woohoo! Oh boy! 
guys, we found it. Voice crack. Because I'm mining diamonds and it's not like anything else, I'm gonna like be very careful. So yeah, this is my first diamond patch on the world ever. And you know what? Just for that, oh my god. Yo. I was gonna say, let's keep exploring and find some more diamonds. And boom, there we go. How's that for more diamonds, boy? So yeah, I'm just gonna light this area up, I guess. And we're gonna discover a lot of diamonds, hopefully. Yeah, I might actually start heading back up soon. Yeah, there's like... Wait, hold on. Is that a ravine up there? Hold up a second. That looks like a ravine. Of course he blew up. I mean, he wasn't even really close to me. Yep, technically this is a ravine. And that zombie did just try to jump after me. We're just gonna go up here quickly. Oh, wow. A lot of this was previously explored. And also there's two y'alls. If one of y'alls wasn't bad enough. Yeah, that guy just blew up. Wow. This is a ravine. It's not like the first time I've seen a ravine, but I haven't seen a ravine this great in a while. It's like a double ravine that goes to the surface, actually. But yeah, let's actually head back up to the surface. Yeah, just a couple caves here. Nothing that special. But down here... Okay, yeah, we're not trying to get pushed down into a pit or anything. There you are. Hey, I'm trying to eat here. Come on, man. Just die already. Just die already. Alright, let's get up to that surface. It is still a bit of a way up, actually. I mean, we are heading up to the surface from, like, literally diamond level. Alright, looks like we gotta scale the wall. This water might be our solution to this problem. Here we are. Yeah, awesome ravine. Then, I guess the rest of this we're gonna have to build up to. Alright, here we go. And we're out. I wonder how close we are to my base. I, I just light up torches everywhere I go, basically. I'd assume it's this way, but at the same time, actually, it might be that way. I mean, my sense of direction is kind of killed off by the fact that I was just in a cave. Ah, there we go. Familiar territory. So we are right here. This is our ravine. And then this way is our base. It's just right here. Oh, these caves are so close and clustered together. This is the entrance to the mine, obviously. Well, we got ourselves diamonds. And I believe that's where I'm going to actually end this episode off for you guys. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I mean, I would really hope you do that, actually. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Oh, just to end this episode off, we've got a couple eggs that we could throw into the pen. In fact, we have a couple more, actually. Okay, we have 12. Let's see if we can get a baby. One, two, three. Okay, we got three babies. So, I mean, an average every four. Four eggs got us a baby. See you guys later. Also, before we go, yeah, I actually have three dogs. I kind of forgot.